Hello fellow tinkerers, welcome to tutorial 2 of the multi-material single mesh series. We are going to cover setting up the color picker widget. Let's get into it. Okay, if we just open up to our material folder that we've been working on, I'm going to right click, user interface, I'm going to add a widget blueprint, and we'll just go user widget. We're going to call this WDG underscore color picker. Get into that. Now the first thing you need to do is add a canvas and we are now going to add a synth 2D slider. Just gonna make sure our anchors are all top left. I am gonna go 24 for my X. Tab will take you to the next input box. I'm gonna go 148 for my Y position and for our size I'm going to go 600 by 600. We are going to rename this F2 and I'm going to call this color selector. Um, it will automatically be set to is variable. For this we want our texture that we remade ourselves or that we edited ourselves and I'm just gonna input that and you'll notice our slider bar it's a 2d slider so it goes up down and we need to change that to something more appropriate I'll link in the description but I have downloaded this from a website called opengameart.org and I just used this first one. All you do is you download it and just drag and drop it into your folder. And it appears like this. So what we want to do is come down to style, then style again. And we can go input our image. It's real big. I've been working with 15 by 15 for size. And to make it more visible, you come up to appearances and handle color. And I just take that down to black. Okay, and it's just a bit more visible. And you just leave image size to whatever it comes in at. Next, we're going to set up our buttons. So we can just come up to search bar and search buttons. I'm going to drag that in. We are going to then add text and you need to put that in your button I'm just going to do these about a third size approximately so I'm now going to just duplicate to get I'm just going to name the buttons on the text. just going to add a border approximately the full width I'm just doing it rough I'm sure you'll do a much better job than me 
And so for this one, we're going to have to set up the material and the blueprints because it'll be what we're selecting. Now I just need to match the button name with the text name. It'll just make it easier to see what's going on in the next step on the blueprint. So need to select our border and make sure is variable is selected and we're going to call this color picked now we can head over to our graph and we're just going to make a few variables floats for our u and our v coordinates for our material and we are also going to need a string part name that we are then going to pass through to know which member we are changing. We are going to drag off a vent pre-construct and we are going to create a dynamic instance, dynamic material instance. What we are going to do is we need to select our widget color before when I said um, that this takes the user interface, I misspoke. It's actually our color selected border that doesn't, we just use the texture for this. So that clears that up. So we have it selected, we just put it in. Again, that's the widget material that we made into the input of this dynamic material instance. We are going to promote the return value to variable and we are gonna call this color picked. We need a reference back to our border. Get. We are going to set brush from material. And we're just going to pass this straight forward. Compile and save. And you'll notice that's the zero zero position so next we're going to click on the synth 2d slider scroll all the way down and we need to add on value change x event and we'll go back and we need to do the same for y so on value change y so our x is our u so we are going to set that with our value and same with our y set with value and we're going to update our selector so we are going to select the color picked which is the material instance i uh, just noticed that i also call this colored picked as well but anyways this is the material we need to get and we are going to set scalar parameter and I'm going to duplicate that you don't forget to plug in the target and we're just going to sync the values as straight and also we need to remember to set the names u and v so next we're just going to head back we need to go into each of these buttons and create a on clicked event. So I'm just going to go through to do that quickly. And if anyone happens to know a faster way of doing this, I'd love to know. All right, it's all of them. And for each of these, we are going to set a part name. So 
now for this part I'm going to go back into our character and what we're going to do is just copy and paste the slot names so I just got the here control V this is the only time that we have to do this later on we just reference back to our list Oop, that's not I'll do it this way beard already mucked it up Now you don't have to do this, but just if you want to, this is where you would put in a default value when you click on a new color. So you could set, for instance, we could just set these to zero. And you'd have to plug in each one. You could set it up that it receives the default material, but then you you would have to remember that when you reset on the other side that you will have to then do the dynamic material again. And this will just make what you're selecting go blue every time, so at least it's the same thing every time. But it's good enough for now. Just gonna reset this to V or it just does not work. Particularly the parameter. The variable name doesn't matter. And there you have it. Now I've just inputted this widget that we've made. So that's the widget we've just been working on. And I also inputted the material that we've been working on into my character. There's a lot more to it than just this, but this is where you would change it. And to showcase it, so these are all the slots. You don't see the slot names right here. And that's the character that we made as well in my Multimat folder. So we'll go over setting up the character next, but you'll see what we've been working on works. And there you have it, our widget is done and we'll go over implementing it on the character side of things next. Alright, thanks.